Hello and welcome back to Desktop Dungeons. I wouldn't mind starting this up with just like a... Let's just try a puzzle. Welcome to the Desktop Dungeons puzzle mode. In each puzzle, you'll be given a small non-random situation to navigate using the tools at your disposal. Start by attacking the nearest enemy. If you need to review the, this message or want to restart the dungeon for some other reason, use the puzzle wand in your inventory to quickly reset. Is this the puzzle wand? Doesn't really look like a wand. But okay. Um, so I, I have to imagine that we are just attacking this lad. You're awesome. Since regeneration is a scarce resource in puzzle scenarios, every hit counts. If the level gives you glyphs, uh, potions or other items to use, grab them when you can and save them for when you think they'll be the most effective. So it's a puzzle. <laughs> so we're at seven health. We should be able to kill this lad without dying. This recovers, what, 40% of your total health? So it's not like there's a more um, good time to use the health potion. It's always going to recover the same amount of health, unless we're near full health, in which case it's not going to recover, you know, its full amount. Remember this common regeneration trick. Earning enough experience to level up will fully replenish your health and mana. Use the puzzle wand in your inventory if you get stuck and need to reset. Level ups heal, reset with the wand. So we should get this guy down to basically no uh, health. I think we can kill them. Yeah, we can. And we're gonna we we need to kill these two lads in order to get to full uh, get our level up. But I think this is the thing we're trying to learn here. Hold on, man. by the gods, it's a spoon. This mighty eating utensil of legend offers plus one base damage. Um. Here's the thing I think they want us to learn here is that we can um, kill, save this last creature to kill while we're fighting the boss. And that way um, we can do some damage to the boss before uh, before we level up and then recover while we're fighting the boss, right? As long as we don't um, reveal any dungeon tiles, and that's not really a problem here, right? As long as we're not revealing any dungeon tiles, then it's it's not a problem. We're gonna have to use a health potion here, though. So we should be able to kill. Uh, we want to kill this lad, right? We have to kill this guy. But what we want to do is um, punch this guy once, and now we know that like we're we're going to kill them on the next thing. So we're gonna use our health potion. And uh, this this goat is going to kill us right away, actually. <laughs> so actually, can we undo? I guess that undo does the whole dungeon, which is a problem. Okay, let's let's try that again. So what we want to do is, first of all, we want to pick up the spoon as soon as we can which I didn't do and you want to make you know like that that meant I didn't do as much damage to some of these meat men um so now how do we want to play this I think definitely we want to level up while we're fighting the boss right but the problem is, is how do we spread ourselves out like that like we, we want to fight these guys so I'm going to have to use at least one potion to fight these guys. But we're at four health. That's better than before. We only take two damage to kill Meat Man. Let's use our health potion. Now the problem is, is that if I attack the goat, I'm I've only got one health left. That's, uh, I'm not sure, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do about this. That should have refreshed you nicely. Your ultimate goal in any puzzle dungeon is to kill the puzzle boss. Typically the creature with the highest level. How you go about doing that is up to you. Counts levels on fingers. So now the problem is that we don't have, oh, wait. I get... wait. Yeah, we're not going to survive this, right? This is the first time I've died 
to a, a boss but you know we're, we're gonna see that again so let's let's try this again i think the the real um where i probably messed up is i want to keep one of these potions if i can so let's get this spoon kill this lad we we can use one of these potions and we should be able to kill uh both these guys without using the health potion right and that way we recover all of our health and now we can fight the goat use the potion and then kill the goat there we go easy easy peasy i mean i, I was making it way more complicated than it needed to be so uh that's one puzzle done i'll, I'll try and start an episode with a puzzle and then uh, we'll we'll do a dungeon after that um we have enough to maybe level up something no we don't we need a thousand to upgrade some of these more robust structures let's see let's see what we can upgrade if we want to establish ourselves as a flexible and forward-thinking foundation for heroes we'll need to encourage adventurers from all walks of life to prevail against our, our foes defeat the den of danger with every first tier hero fighter wizard pe priest and thief damn okay well we don't have to do that yet we could do venture glaive first or at least we could try Venture Glaive and see see how difficult it, it is. So let's try Elf. Elf gets plus one mana uh, for every 70 conversion points. It's a shame I did the wizard last uh, turn or last game because the uh, you know Elf Wizard is obviously a very uh, you know a combo match made in heaven. Um, so why don't we try Thief? Stabber. So what is it? The human gets plus 10% attack bonus. It's not like mana isn't useful for each class, right? Um, sorry, let's read on Thief. Deals an extra 30% damage to enemies with full health. 30%, 33% more items on dungeon map. All health mana potions restore both health and mana. Interesting. Okay, well, yeah, we, we want to be a Thief. Oh no, I didn't do any preparation. So yeah, we have a thief elf here and you can tell they've they've gone out of their way to create uh, a elf looking thief. So that that's uh that's a lot of extra work they've gone to. Pa fancy pamphlet. I'm still not sure what that is meant to do for us. We got wanna fight. Y'all know I love I love me some wanna fight. Got some extra health. I uh, wanted to get that as fast as I could. And before we kill this level one dude, why don't we do want to fight? Yeah, and that way we can kill a, wanna, a, a dude for free. We'll do, kill another level one uh, dude for free. And I mean, like, there's what, different ways to go about this. Like, yeah, if we um, get that one spell that turns level one dudes into extra mana or extra XP later. Yeah, it, it would be better to not kill every level one monster but there's different ways to go about this and i don't think you can like plan for maybes you know better to take the challenges on as you see them rather than um you know do mental gymnastics for the the challenges or rewards that you might have um so we've got a meat man we'll do some extra damage against them on their first hit but then we're going to be doing less damage, but we should be able to kill them. And this is a level three dude, so that this is nice. What we could do is do a wanna fight. Now, I was hoping that that would be, it would be him. And then we would be able to get our, like basically a free first strike. There's some extra mana. And we can just kill this lad, but uh, I kind of want to hit this meat man. We'll kill this lad, level up. Nothing to it. Um, Goblin kind of sucks because um, they just barely didn't die in one hit. Uh, same for this wizard. I'm actually going to leave him there. Uh, and that way, if I can get a bit of extra damage, then... Um, it's, uh, it's unfortunate that we're in an elf, so we're going to get more mana for a conversion. Because if I was a human, I could just like convert something that I find on the floor and that 10% would be enough to kill him without taking any damage. 
but it, it looks like uh you know we're, we're well you know what let's just do another wanna fight there we go i love wanna fight because it takes a lot of the mystery out of the dungeon and means we can get the most out of exploring the dungeon because we can fight monsters before exploring um it makes it to me like one of the more valuable spells there we go but then again we can't we don't really have a lot of option in terms of like how what creatures we fight first so that's the downside to want to fight obviously okay so there's an extra attack so now we can kill this guy for free and we leveled up off of it i probably should have done some damage to the zombie before i did that it's fine so we have level ones uh i think now like we only get one xp for killing them so it definitely would be worth just keeping them on the board for now but unfortunately do it they they, they make want to fight not as valuable mm. the problem here is that I can't attack him twice. Oh, I can attack him twice. I could do want to fight. Yeah, want to fight. Let me um, hit them for free, which is nice. Okay. I'm just going to continue to abuse want to fight whenever I can. Good, good, good. As soon as I have enough mana, do, do want to fight. Kill what's ever in front of me, basically. And then uh, explore some more of the dungeon. We have another level one. Um, this guy will level us up, so actually worth it. So he's going to kill me, unfortunately. If I, uh, I was going to try and do another want to fight, hoping that they would... Um, well, okay, we can kill them now. See, like, the, the, there's a, some math tricks you can do in this game. Because, like, oh, I, you know, if I reveal the, some of the dungeon, we recover, but we also recover the monster. Yeah, but it didn't recover them enough, and we recover in some ways faster, I think. It's it's a, it's funky. You, you definitely, like, you want to math it out sometimes. Um, so we can... We need to hit this guy three times. We should be good now. We can do another wanna fight. Yeah. Just like play the odds and maybe we'll, we'll get lucky. So we're, we're making some progress here. It's, it's slow but steady. Let's um, explore this side. Actually, I just did a dumb thing here. If I had done, if if uh, oh, the creature had like appeared over here, I would have to fight them to continue exploring on this angle. Sometimes things like that actually does matter. That was close, but close is good actually in some ways. So uh, at this point, I'm just gonna like wanna fight creatures over there um i don't know there's weird quirks to want to fight and i'm not sure yet still how it works oh this guy is tough we still don't have another spell he will level us up we're actually we're at 22 right so check this out if i kill this guy it'll actually give us two experience really yeah, to experience. So this is where you can abuse level up uh, re re uh, replenishment. Is um, I'm going to hit him twice, and then kill this lad. So we get our full health, and then we can hit this guy two more times, and kill him. Look at that. Nice chunk of XP. Ah, oh, it's a new uh, glyph, and it's wait what? Um, not a huge fan of wait what, but we can use it. And it's technically like it gives us first strike. So we can, we could like use it right here. For instance, we can swap with them and then, uh, kill them with the first strike without taking too much damage. 
I have a level six, dude. Level six isn't bad. But the thing I don't like about wait what here's here's the thing that sucks about wait what is it's very mana expensive. It's seriously expensive. Eight mana for second strike is not not a great use of our resources. They will kill us, but we can wait what them and then kill them back and we leveled up off that. And I guess we, that means we can do another wait what? We're up to level seven creatures now. We can hit them twice and wait what them. I'm sure there are better uses of wait what, but um, I don't know. For, you know, having second strike is not a terrible use of it. Oh, that was dumb. I don't have enough mana. We could just try and wait what them again. Yeah, we got lucky. Okay, we have enough for another wanna fight. We're pulling level one creatures. That tells me that maybe we're out of monsters. There's a level 10. Those who search for the secrets of banking need to prevail in not one, but two econom economist combat trials. I say that you've already prepared for this with our bank guaranteed adventure insurance. You're wiser than you look. I will not go easy on you. According, according to a sub clause on page 16A of my contract, I'm obliged to kill you if your performance is unsatisfactory. Your ex exit has been blocked. We fight to the death. Regards, the banker. These contracts are brutal. Um, okay. Well, oh, we have a, our bonus dungeon here. Let's check that out. We have a goat. Something tells me I don't necessarily want to kill the goat. I killed the goat. We have a dairy diary. A loosely bound tome containing words so crudely scribbled that they're barely even legible. Click to read. Monday. Oh boy, gonna start my own diary. This is gonna be great. Did all sorts of goat stuff today. Tuesday. Did loads of awesome goat stuff. Wednesday. Hung out. Did goat stuff. Absolutely knackered. Thursday. Killed wandering adventurer. More goat stuff. Friday. Briefly considered taking a course in basic spell casting. Did goat stuff instead. Gripping reading. Well, we don't want to waste that dungeon exploration there because it could prove to be important. We're at 18 uh, XP, uh, which means we need 12, 17 XP, which is about halfway there, I guess. Um, so let's, I'm going to do want to fight a couple times just to like kind of try purge the dungeon. Ooh, biceps. I love biceps. Now the thing, so this banker, um, we need to, we need to hit them t 11 times and they have physical resistance too. Oh God. Okay. So here's, here's what I'm thinking. Um, biceps strike erodes 3% resistance. So we could use this smack them and then go and recover i'm an ancient being of untold power and influence i would have thought that you'd at least have some magic with you looks like you'll be using your insurance quickly i'm sure i have a glyph here somewhere um so we'll go and recover and then smack them again and we're gonna slowly erode their physical resistance This seems like a good um, way of doing this. Uh, we could also kill... I think we can kill the zombie. I don't think so, actually. It would get us to 28. We'd still need some more XP to level up. So I'm just going to, you know, use biceps. Hit the banker. That's slowly going to erode their, their physical damage. biceps smack them and we're, we're getting them down now it was originally 11 hits to kill them and now it's only eight so that's pretty good do it again they're down to 20 percent physical resistance um do it again trying to make the most out of the dungeon they will kill us if we do it again right now Can this, does this stack actually? I don't think so. 
Will they kill us? Yeah, they will kill us. Okay, so we need to reveal some more dungeon. Oh, there's a level nine. Could be good. They have first strike. That's kind of a problem. Because, oh, wait, I guess we can slow them. Uh, we do have enough to do both weight, what, and biceps. So we could, actually, could we do two biceps? Yeah, so we could attack them. I think we can get away with this. But now if I do, wait, what? Pretty sure, no, they'll still kill us. Okay. That's, uh, that sucks. So they're slowed, but slowed doesn't seem to work on them. Slow attack cannot move. They uh, Slowed doesn't seem to remove their first strike. I guess I, I misunderstood what slowed. No blink, no retreat, or retaliation strike second. Well, that doesn't seem to be true. Because um, they have, I guess first strike supersedes that. Okay, well, we can't kill them yet. Um, we already have might. Let's uh, let's continue with plan A and hit the banker. Oh, what? Oh, I see. Did I? I accidentally moved them in the way. What is this spell? Oh, this is Pissorf. Oh, that's great. Why can't we take it? Oh, our inventory is full. I didn't realize that was a thing. Um, I know this is a ongoing thing, but I kind of want to... You know what? Let's get rid of want to fight. I was going to get rid of uh, wait what, but wait what's probably more valuable than want to fight at this point. Although I guess want to fight is functionally the same. Um, so let's, let's go ahead and hit the banker, reducing their physical... Resistance again. Oh, we're also going to pick up Piss Orf. Um, and we definitely want to make use of this. So why don't we use this once here and then we can get on the other side here and push this goblin a couple of times into some walls. We should be able to kill them now. Still no. They have 44 health, so if I go and recover some health, they probably will recover enough that it will take more than one hit. Thirty-five base plus forty percent bonus. Oh, okay, I get it. All right. Um, hmm. I uh, you know what? I guess with the biceps, we could probably do it. Oh. This guy is such a problem. I keep trying to make this work and it keeps not working. Okay, let's um let's pick up that. We'll pick up that and I, I would like we can just try again. I I'm a little bit worried that I'm uh, by not going to with plan a and reducing the bankers physical resistance I'm probably shortchanging myself a little bit. So let's continue with plan a And actually we can do it again So they're down to 8% to physical resistance now Let's do it again down to 5% Ooh, what is this? Oh, I'm a wall. I'm a wall would be kind of nice, but I'd have to get rid of something valuable. Maybe the fancy pamphlet. I don't think it counts, actually. Oh, it counts as five inventory spots. Perhaps I should read it. Let's read this. Dying is less permanent. By keeping this, we um, we do away with permanent death. Why don't we go ahead and convert that? I know that's insane, but it means I get to have I'm a wall. 
and Imo Wall is actually good here because I, I have uh, kept a couple of level one creatures in reserve. Um, we can't really do anything against a zombie, at least not right now. Let's go ahead. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and hit. Um, first of all, let's turn one of these guys into Imo Wall. And that way we're going to we're going to get some more experience from whatever we kill. Oh, we're going to be so, like one short. That's fine. We can kill one of our level ones. Um, the zombie kind of sucks. We're, we're, we're very much like short changed right now. We should be able to kill the zombie now. If I do biceps, hit them. And then we're going to do um, biceps again. And I'm just checking that I have enough for... Wait, what? Because we need wait what to do the final killing blow. And we've leveled up. Perfect. Um, all right. So we have another zombie. So this zombie will give us eight experience. This goblin will give us 11 experience. So that's going to get us to 19. Not even close. So I don't think killing any more creatures is actually going to be worthwhile at all. So now we need to commit to uh, this this plan. And I have now officially removed the banker's physical resistance completely. And I think we have enough potions. First of all, we can we can smack them into quite a few walls, right? There th that option was always available. Um, so let's start with that. Then we're gonna, we can, we can do one biceps. There's not really much reason to do biceps, but like we're, we're good. Honestly, we have enough mana potions. We could just like push them into a bunch of walls. <laughs> we could probably kill them this way. Like this was an option, but I kind of like the idea that we, removed their physical re resistance completely. And then let's just like smack them once. That was fun. I, I like I definitely overthought that dungeon, but it was it was kind of fun to to, you know, figure out some stuff like that. And it's also good to know how to use your your spells to the best of your advantage this is havu i wonder if havu is a dwarf yo hero i'm emissary havu speaking on behalf of the dwarves who would like to join your kingdom your collective venture is awesome brotastic and sounds like it could make us loads of cash i know a shortcut out of this dungeon let's head back to your pad and i'll have a chat with your administrators after a celebratory ale party, of course, maybe two. Oh, and thanks for defeating that totally lame buzzkill vampire upstairs. I owed it some money and didn't want to deal with that mess. You're the best, dude. After you, bro. So dwarves are dude bros in this universe. That's pretty good. The industrious beer-loving dwarves are valuable allies to have in a kingdom as lightly developed as yours. With their solid work ethic and heroic levels of hangover warding constitution, they make for especially durable adventurers. Of course, their services don't come cheap. If you want to start training them up for adventures, you'll need to improve their living quarters. Cheers, dwarves. We got some money. New building available. You've seen some crazy twisted things in your life, but today an entirely new breed of monster has entered your realm. As we speak, bankers are establishing an outpost in your kingdom. I thought we were hunt hunting them. At least you can feel secure in your money hoarding now. Check out the new bank when you have a moment and see what financial services it offers. Can we really trust them? Most frugal administrator, while your hoarding skills are clearly second to none, our vault cannot hold this much money. We need to find a way to extend it to go about spending some money. Perhaps we can uh, upgrade a building or two. I was saving it for our statue. The kingdom's gold value will be marked in red whenever it goes above our short uh, storage limit. Any additional money earned by adventures is lost until the extra gold gets spent. Use it or lose it. Gotcha. So let's, first of all, let's get some dwarves. This place is noisy and smells like vomit. Absolutely perfect for the inhabitants. 
Upgrading this building will allow you to recruit dwarves for your dungeon runs. Dwarves gain health boost from items, item conversion. Oh, nice. <laughs> chug, chug, chug. I like how there's streamers over the statue. Delta, Iota, Gamma. Dig. Oh, God. God damn it. Uh, bank level one. Uh, ancient and dark rituals of econ economics take place here. The financomancers are adept at balancing dividends and trading futures to get uh, gold out of the kingdom and into an adventurer's pocket. And their range of chronomancy insurance uh, services will bring that gold back, along with the adventurer, of course. This bank allows you to keep a maximum of 1,500 gold in the kingdom and lets your adventurers take 15 gold and an insurance policy into a dungeon run. Interesting. Um, we can't really do anything. I don't think we can upgrade anything. Most experience gained. Advisor's task. Get poisoned. Petrify enemy. So we have little bonus tasks. This is uh, honestly one of the strengths. I, like a lot of games have uh, relied, like they, they, they've kind of built on these mechanics. So it's easy to see these and maybe kind of get a queasy feeling in your in your in your bowels like you know like oh yeah, this game's got like daily quests or something but like um i think that you know d desktop dungeons did this before uh it, these tools and these methods of of kind of rewarding the player were used for evil purposes and i think that it does it well and it's just an extra thing to kind of reward the player and and i i think it's fine um this like no this game is not exploitative in any way towards the player so i i i am a uh, 100% for it as a method of reward. The best and only gathering point for the realm's greatest heroes. A useful stopping point between adventures. We can upgrade it later. If we upgrade it, it will give us berserkers, maybe? Um, the western territories are a poorly explored death trap of botanical horrors, insane druids, and ancient creatures, which laugh at the efforts of even our best magic users. We need a brave soul and some good steel to show him who's boss. Prevail in the west with our finest warrior classes. Fighters and berserkers, oh my. Quest unlocked, deep freeze. Something sinister rumbles in the east. Armies of the dead are on the march and entire communities are being wiped out overnight. The Ministry of Omnip Omnipotent Affairs have called us for investigation into the matter, sending in their holiest of champions to get to the bottom of things. Bring light to the east with our ministry's residents. Dispatch the priests and monks. We still haven't, uh, we haven't gotten monks yet. The now barren great desert of the north was once home to the mightiest empires in the world. Uh, unsurpassed in culture and mystical power, several hundred years ago it disappeared overnight and left no trace. Recently, magically attuned individuals have sensed arcane disturbances here. Investigate the north with some of your more arcane champions. Wizards and sorcerers go. Oh, more and more. Explorers claim the inhospitable, impenetrable swamplands to the south offer nothing of value to our kingdom. Some of the more resourceful scoundrels in your realm are attempt attempted to disagree. They deem themselves heroic enough to double check. Take tackle the south with some of our more treasury hungry troops. You mean thieves and rogues? So we have western jungle, southern swamp, eastern tundra. We still have den of danger, which we have to do with like every single class. Uh, and in the northern desert. The north is a balanced experience, though confidence with glyph use is recommended. The east is recommended for the more confident players and game veterans. Count blah blah. <laughs> the south is quite difficult, but provides some nice financial opportunities. We would fight the Yorgmunder. Yor Yormungandr. Um... The West is a good option for players who need to build up a little bit more experience. Get in a defix. Get in defix. I don't know. Um, and we can do random runs. Kin in class. So, okay, that's going to do it for the episode. We're, we're kind of uh, finally getting to the meat and potatoes of this game. Uh, now that we've gotten most of our base stuff, we don't have... Uh, a lot of the races but we have dwarves elves and humans and we've got four ish classes so we have uh we have options and now we have to tackle dungeons that um sort of select for certain combinations 
Uh, if you are enjoying the series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.